What's going on YouTube? This flashback here playing some uh, next card game Wreckfest. Uh, there's been an update today. Uh, it's added a new car. It's called the Asian One. Uh, we're going to check it out here in a little bit. They've also improved the shifting with sequential and H shifter. Um, it's going to be mostly with wheel and such. Uh, they've added the button to automatically distribute all available repair points to parts that are in the worst condition that has to do with the crew, which is a really neat feature. If you can actually see down here, I've got my crew one assigned to this car. Well, that's annoying. So, alright. They reduced part wear rate, right, which is nice that everything was dying way too fast. They improved the foliage. I haven't even looked at that. They fixed mud service and tweaked off-road surfaces. That'll be nice. Uh, multiplayer race start should no longer get stuck if someone joins or times out during the last seconds. They implemented a probable fix for the 64-bit version, sometimes crashi crashing when a large amount of dynamic tires activated. Bots that are manually added now remain on the dedicated server after track rotation. That's a nice feature. They increased the server name length limit. And they improved the hood, which we will see in-game as well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So first things first, we're actually going to go into the market. We're going to buy the Asian car. Now you may notice I don't have any money anymore. How much is that? Never mind. We're gonna do some racing first. I'm be right back when I'm done with that racing. So I uh, I figured what better time to show off some of the new features that I haven't really done a whole lot. Minus the foliage. I haven't noticed a performance improvement with the foliage considering I actually have it on now. I did have it off before. Oh shoot. Okay, now I'm forgetting to uh, shift. But I'm sure it's okay. I'm not losing too much ground here. So let's go ahead and just pass everyone here on the inside. So yeah, if you notice the foliage, you will notice that it's not... that is, It is just as thick, but it's not as tall on average. And I am getting much better frame rate even with the foliage on, which is nice to see. Come on. I don't know what it is, but the, the cars seem slower to me than they used to. It's really weird. There we go. So I gotta get used to the shift points because apparently this car this tr car has a different shift point on this track. Not sure if it changed transmissions or what happened, but I'm just trying to earn a little bit of money here to try and buy that Asian uh, car, Asian 1. So my position doesn't really matter as much. Obviously, the farther up I get, the better off I'll be in the long run. That's kind of racing, so nobody should really be surprised by that. Oh, I know why it seems like I'm going so much slower. I switched over to miles per hour instead of kilometers per hour. Duh. I mean, <laughs> the fact that I didn't even think about that, and I literally just switched it over just a moment ago. Wow. Let's just forget that happened, shall we? We can? Good. So I am playing with all of my assists on right now just because it has been a long time since I played it, and honestly, I'm kind of regretting it. The car is almost too grippy at this point. But it is what it is, I suppose. Wow. So first, tops out at 29. It's a little long for me, but I suppose this car doesn't really have the horsepower to keep up. And look at the 0 to 60, I mean, even 20 to 60 is ridiculously slow. I would not want to drive this car. I'm full throttle all the way through this track and I'm barely even moving. Well, I guess we'll see you in the next race if I decide to record some more. I'm just going to try and swap, uh, change tracks here and there. Keep it, uh, keep it interesting. Alright, so this race we're going to be on, uh, Tarmac 2. Which is one of the newer tracks. It's not the newest, but it is one of the newer ones. And it's not a bad track overall. It's definitely a lot more race course design. Which is nice to see out of this game, for the most part, a lot of them are just 
Let's throw some lines together and see what kind of shapes you get. Alright, I don't want to hit him too hard there. And of course I get taken out. So let's get going again here. Not too much damage there, which is nice. I did lose quite a few positions there, and they just keep ramming into me, don't they? Alright, well, let's just keep on going, shall we? See if we can lose the pack a little bit, although that guy's coming up really fast. Not a bad turn overall. You know, this game still needs a mini-map of some sort. I really feel lost. So I did turn uh, traction control and stability to half. I still have my ABS on, uh, on full. I felt like I didn't have quite the control of my car I wanted to have with everything on full, so I figured, eh, let's just turn a couple of the uh, difficulty mod uh, modifiers up a little bit and see what happens. And So far it does feel better. I want to uh, get to the point where I can play with everything off again. That is a lot harder to do in the European. But it also gives you the chance to actually drift, which is a lot of fun in this game. Yeah, screw forth. There we go, we're up to third. Very nice, very nice. We got a straight away here. Gotta try and lose these guys as much as possible. If at all possible. And maybe make up some ground on these guys up here. This is not a turn I need to slow down for. See? Perfect. I'm shifting to fourth, you don't need it. Okay. I had no choice there. I had to slow down more than I wanted to. This guy's going to be tough to pass because he's blocking me really hard. Now we've got some momentum. Let's try a slingshot. Break hard. Pull out. And... Alright, we got second. This is the last lap, so I don't have much time to catch up to first. And honestly, I don't think I can. Oh god! Yep! Ah! I did that to myself. It hit me. I got greedy. I got greedy. And it lost me second place. It lost me podium. There's no way I can make a podium at this point. Not with this many people to get past. But I suppose that's, uh. I suppose that's what happens when you get greedy over. over jealous, over. not jealous. Would you? You know what, sir? Screw you. There is no need for you, for you to be trying to block me like that. There's quite a lot of race left. I very well could have taken first. Alright, well. I'm going to try this race again. So. Ha! <laughs> Alright back with the next one. So, I know I said I was going to try that track again, but I actually had the money, and with 90 credits left over, here is the Asian 1. It's very Nissan, very Datsun, and I like that. They didn't go straight to Honda, and I love how you can see the shocks down there. I can't see them on the back. Is that leaf springs? No, it's shocks. It's got your lower control arm there. Axle coming across. That's rear wheel drive. Cool. Five gears, rear wheel drive, yeah. Wow, they actually put the differential in the detail. That's nice. I like what they did with this. I mean, I haven't looked at the other cars in that much detail. Interior looks nice. Let's open this door. Very well done. See what's under the hood. Inline four. As expected. Wow. 
Look at that. Look at that detail. This is probably the most detailed engine I've seen so far. I'm pretty sure you don't need that many carbs on a on an inline four, but what do I know, alright? Over here. Wow, even the master cylinder is very well detailed. I like that. It's so missing quite a lot in terms of like accessories. Wait a minute. Look at that. You got alternator, you can even see the belt and the fan. Nice job. Well, we're going to take a look at the different colors we have for this thing. Starts with red as a style one. I do like this color. We go to a yellow and blue. A very backwards Subaru. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. I really Subaru's not Asian. Almost a almost like a Civic blue. Uh, black hood. I like it. Moving on. Very Nissan white. Very Nissan gray. Very much so Nissan gray. Style 5 here. Standard black. Oh, hey, they even put it where the speaker holes were. The wipers got some sort of weird glow on them. White and blue. That's nice. It's almost uh, more more of a Shelby tone, but I like it. Style 7. Ooh. I think this is the first time I've seen a car in this game that actually had a clean paint job. Wow, that is sharp. And style eight, you're back to. Well, this is cleaner, but it's still a little beat up. Oh, style six again. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stick with style seven here because I like how clean it is. It's not beat up. I like that. Oh wow, it even added uh, the strut bar. Cool. Well, let's get into a race on this, and I think we're going to do the newest track that's been added on this car. So let's take this out stock and have some fun, shall we? So here we are, Tarmac 3. Seems to be a fairly unoptimized uh, track so far. But it is a very large track, and it's got a lot of side bits from multiplayer just messing around. Like, I found this whole go-kart track that is really, really good for just drifting. We're going to see what we can do here, though. Well, this thing is quick. Well, quicker, at least. Oh, God. Nope. You're not going to do that to me, sir. Oh, come on! Brand new paint job, guys. Yeah, this track is definitely a little less optimized than the rest of the tracks. I think I'm okay with that. I am only getting 30 FPS right now. Which is less than ideal, but hopefully it'll turn out okay on the video. What is that? I'm not even getting 30, I'm getting 28. Huh, well, anyway, let's continue on here. So I did turn my ABS down to, uh, well, turned it to half here. And I am noticing. Yeah, I was definitely sliding there. I'm definitely noticing that the ABS is turned down. But I am holding third here. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a uh, turn you can take full throttle, and here you gotta slow down. So all in all, this Asian one is already pretty fast. I didn't even look to see what class it was. But as you'll see in the top right, this is a five-lap race because I felt like really getting a feel for this car. Already, it is a very smooth car. Very smooth, easy driving car. Which I really wasn't expecting out of a brand new car that's just been added to the game literally today. There hasn't been any hotfix that I'm aware of. Now, I don't actually know what time of day it was added because I was at work today. I did have to reformat my system last night. So this is literally the first time I've had any game up since I reformatted. He actually avoided me. Not gonna shift. Alright. So this car is probably going to be able to hit like 150 on a good stretch. Which is nice to know. 
it's handling wonderfully. Very well weighted so far. A <clears throat> little harder to hand to uh, turn at full throttle than I'd like it to be, but that's the nature of the game, I suppose. I have plenty of time to try and get it into first here. Look at that blue spoiler. Alright, we made that corner. So many of you may notice I am driving much cleaner than I used to, much smoother. I am using a steam controller. I've had a steam controller for quite a long time if you weren't already aware of that. Oh wow, I just noticed something. While I was talking, I was looking down at the RPM. This thing literally does not ret does not max out RPM until you hit that 8,000 mark. At that point, it does rev. It does uh, hit the rev limiter, but it's nice to know that it's way down there. That I can technically make use of that. Very good information to know. Yeah, good to know. Good to know. Something you always want to find out right away when you're driving a new car is where the rev limit is, kind of where general vis general speeds it shifts at, and how well it's going to handle each of those speeds on corners. So he's going to be have me on the front stretch here because I didn't shift properly. Comes down to driver error there. I'm going to take him on the inside through the grass. Yeah, and I forced him out which slowed him down even more. Very nice. Oh, he's right behind me, though. White and blue to lead the pack. Alright, there we go. Decent turn. Maybe a little too slow. But, I am making up some ground here. At this point, it's all about holding first for two laps. No reason to shift there. It literally wouldn't do me a, even a tiny bit of good. Here we go, decent turns, decent turns, keep it even, keep it smooth. That is the name of any racing game. Decent turns come from decent movements. Smooth transitions is what racing is all about. Oh god, that was not a smooth transition by any means. You know what? I didn't lose too much time. Enough to worry me a little bit, but not too much time. Actually, turn the uh, vibration feature on my controller on for the first time today. It's uh, vibrating anytime I shift, and I kind of like it. It's a little bit of feedback to let me know that I am indeed uh, shifting. Wow, I gained a lot of time through there. So this car is definitely good at the uh, slaloms, I'll call it. With these wider turns like that, it does seem to have a slightly harder time than the other cars. Like, the American cars really excel at those turns, I've noticed. European cars, not as much. So, yep, that is a hundred right there. An easy hundred, too. Alright, see? Good transitions, that's what it's all about. Really makes you feel good when you get a good transition like that done. Slow down here. Okay, yeah. That turn's just never gonna be bread and butter for this car, but there we go. That is the race. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We will see you next time. As always, please remember to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Well, that was awkward. Anyway. Have a good one. Peace. I just thought I'd point out it's a B-class car.